Well, on this Motivation Monday, we ask our viewers out there to think hard about this next question and answer, but answer truthfully. Do you love yourself unconditionally, without stipulation? Can you say that you do? Our next guest is a speaker, author, and coach, and she encourages us all to love ourselves. Beanie Man is here to give us an encouraging push to allow us to love ourselves. How are you, Beanie? I am amazing. <laughs> I'm amazing. How are you guys? We're good. good. We're, uh, good. good. We're good. <laughs> I answer for both of us. Yeah, we're good. We're, she's good. I'm good. That's awesome. But listen, Beanie, it's so true. We all have like the guilt factor. We yeah. all always see what's bad in us, not always the good. We right. need to change that. Well, it's not just that, but it, it's like if you love yourself, you're considered selfish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's that's sure. another stigma that goes with it. And it, no, because here's the thing, you cannot pour from an empty cup, right? Mm -hmm. If yeah. it's empty, nothing yep. comes out. Nothing comes you out. are the cup. Okay. okay. So fill yourself with love. Love yourself first. Yeah. Interesting. And I've heard that before. You can't love others truthfully or Correct. truly, right. you know, deeply right. without loving yourself. Right. And, you know, for viewers that have seen you come on before, you talked about your story right. and how hard it was to come, you know, to love yourself. Mm -hmm. So how do you encourage others to do so who may have also had a rough time? Right. So in my book, actually, uh, there's a chapter in there called Love Yourself. Mm -hmm. And there's a 30-day little... It's, challenge, exercise you can do to where every morning you look in the mirror and you say, so for me, you say your name, so for me it's Beanie, I love you for. So for me it's like, a Beanie, I love you for your smile. Beanie, I love you for being happy. Beanie, I love you for overcoming what you've overcome. Whatever you can think of and you do it for every single one. Mm -hmm. And you do that for 30 days and keep a journal, you know, like how you felt before you started. Yeah. And then write down how you feel and how you fall in love with yourself. Because, I mean, you tell yourself, you're the first thing you see in the morning. <laughs> I mean, that I am. That is true, right? Right. I tell this girl all the time just how special she is. <laughs> An incredible mom. And I'm always like, Maria. <laughs> you guys <laughs> you know. know. You're all yeah. amazing. Here's the thing, though. We all make mistakes. We yeah. all go through things in life that set us back. But we need to let go of that guilt factor and right. do exactly what you're saying. Yes. Say, this is who I am. This is who I want to be, right. and I'm going to look at the good things about myself. Absolutely. How can people get in the routine of doing that? Um, so for me, when I start something new, I actually set alarms on my phone. Okay. You know, kind of like the, the events, you, you, mm -hmm. you know, appointments yeah. and stuff you put on your phone. And that's what I do. So when I start something, it's like, okay, I put that on there. So now every, every morning when I wake up, oh, yeah, I have to do this. Except I don't say have to anymore because say I get to, mm -hmm. yeah. changes everything too. So, so I get to do this. And then by putting the reminders on, if you feel like you need to do it more than once, and you can do it any, mm -hmm. any amount of time you want. Nobody says it's just in the morning. You can do it morning, noon, and night. Doesn't matter. Okay. However often you need to do it for you, what works for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so we're telling everybody out there, you know, say your name yep. in the mirror. You know, say something that you love about yourself. Exactly. Right. And I love everything. that I'm mm -hmm. so forgiving, and then journal about it. So it's all these small things right. that should only take a minute. You can fit in, mm -hmm. you know, bathroom break at work if you forgot to do it in the morning, and often forgive yourself Correct. if you forgot to do it in the morning right. or you mm -hmm. had didn't have time, mm -hmm. didn't rush around. Right. I do have this in my book. I have a chapter on forgiveness because mm -hmm. you bring up forgiveness. The same exercise that you yeah. do for the I love myself. Yeah. Do for I forgive myself and you exactly the same thing. I yeah. forgive myself for. Right. And you know, for me it was like I forgive myself for holding on to all the anger. I forgive myself for um, not realizing right. that all the gifts I have. Mm -hmm. I, I forgive my whatever it comes to your mind and yeah. you do the same thing. Right. You know, but it's like always come from a place of love anyway. Yeah. Well, and we love when you come here. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, this thanks morning. for having us. Annie, and this and is Mo. He's we forgot been the to whole mention time Mo. Because he's been an angel. Dog. Okay, he but he's going to be really mad because he loves his close up and he didn't get it today. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> he's ready for his close up. He's like, well, I'm you sure. can learn more <laughs> about the Matters of Perspective online at mattersofperspective.com. That's also where you can purchase Beanie's book and yep. learn more about how to love yourself, forgive yourself, Whoop. and so much more. There it